Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations given that f of f of x which is a composite function equals 6x minus f of x. We need to get f of x if x is greater than 0. If a question like this is given Let's say we are in a context and we have this particular question. The general approach to solve this because we cannot say x depends on only one function. But in a context, we can just try and quickly look to this guess and get the answer. If I guess that the fa is a linear function and I said we can see test for any other uh, function like injectivity, bijectivity or the Cauchy form to, to get more answers but in a quick insight we can just test for the linearity of this equation if i assume that if f of x is equals ax plus b and again what we are giving here is x so which shows the linearity then we need to get f of f of x from here so taking f of f of x we have this equals f of a x plus b and with this we are going to replace every single x with a x plus b so then we have a into bracket of ax plus b then plus b so by expanding this we have a squared x plus a b plus b let's try and uh, equate the two sides for f of f of x we get a squared x plus b and um, plus a b so equating both we are going to have x squared x plus a b plus b equals 6x minus f of x is a x plus b then here we have x squared x plus a b plus b equals let's expand this out we have 6x minus a x minus b so from here, we have x, we have x. So this thing remains x squared x plus ab plus b equals, if I take out 6 minus a, in bracket we have x, then here is minus b. So next is to do the comparison of coefficients. There is x here, there is x here. So this shows that a squared will be equals 6 minus a and when we consider the constant as well we're going to have a b equals we're going to have a b plus b equals minus b so let's try and solve the first one in the first equation we have x squared plus a minus 6 equals 0 this is a quadratic we have the power of a where this a is not equal 0 that is a here is greater than 0 then we are going to solve this quadratically if i create two brackets this equals 0 let's say this is a this is a and we leave two numbers that the sum will be 1 and the product will be minus 6 so this side i'm going to put 3 and this side i'm going to put 2 3 minus 2 that is 1 and 3 times minus 2 it gives us minus 6 therefore a here equals 2 and uh, minus 3 so this is what we have for a and we are going to get the value of b by substituting this into the second equation because the second equation is the one having b 
So let's check for if a equals 2. For a equals 2, we substitute here and we are going to have 2b plus b equals minus b. So here everything becomes 4b equals 0 and then b here equals 0. So if b equals 0, we're calling from where we guess f of x equals ax plus b as b equals to 0 and a equals 2. We are going to have f of x to be 2x. Here is the first equation for f of x. Here is what we got for f of x. And again, if we check for when a equals minus 3, we are going to have for a equals minus 3, then we have minus 3b plus b equals minus b. And this gives us, this is minus 2b. And uh, when this comes, we are going to have minus b equals 0. And everything gives us 0. So b equals 0 again, which shows that f of x is also gives us minus 3x. So these are the two things that we get for f of x. But if we try to check the domain of this, two functions without the condition given that x is greater than 0. Both of these, they are possible mathematically. But due to the condition given to us, we have to make it uh, the positivity or monotonically. So therefore, for x greater than 0, if x is greater than 0, testing for this f of minus 3, for x greater than 0, we are going to have f of x equals minus 3x. So, which shows that every f of x is less than 0 here. And x is greater than 0. So, therefore, let's say we are going to, if you consider just only the positive real number, so this also work. But explicitly, we are going to make this to follow what we are giving as x greater than 0. If we are to put an explicit check for this, suppose we try to introduce another function here. Let's say f of f of x and we substitute everything here we are going to get 9x which means this works and looking at the other side as well which is 6x minus 4x we are going to have 6x minus minus this that is plus 3x this also equals 9x but we don't need this case since we are giving x greater than 0 so we don't need this condition so we are going to go for when f of x equals 2x so with this one, f of x equals 2x, which shows that if f of x is greater than 0, definitely x is also greater than 0. And if you try to put a check as well, having f of f of x, so this will give us 4x. And other side, we have 6x minus f of x, where f of x is 2x, this also equals 4x. This works. So therefore, the answer for this is going to be f of x equals 2x if x is greater than 0. The first one we check is x less than 0, though f of x greater than 0. Thanks for watching. And uh, this is how to solve this. As I said earlier, we can still check for injectivity, subjectivity, and the culture form. So let's see how that goes. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.